her face line with some water. So she got on stage seven ounces of water, 1.5 grams of sodium, 35 grams of fat, and then 40 grams of carbs. Diuresis in mind. High alcohol content, so you'd be better. Okay, I feel like I'm getting ready for like a, a first date. You know, I shaved, had a nice little lint roller. Nah, but seriously, today is a, is a dope day, man. Uh, since moving down here to Tampa, I've had opportunity to train with tons of people, Olympia champions, bikini champions, believe it or not. But today, somebody who I've talked to for a while, we travel to a lot of shows together in terms of being at national shows for clients, and somebody who I finally have an opportunity to connect with. So it's been long overdue, but like I said, I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm ready. He taught me a lot in my career. You know, usually when I train with people, I'm the one who's dictating the flow of the workout. Uh, but I think there's a hierarchy right when you do that. So we're just gonna let him take this one over and I'll just follow suit. This might be the first day I Bitch, I'm the hottest. Wasn't my throwing ones before you whip kind of training biceps. I haven't done biceps in two years since Tyler told me not to. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. you, wanna, uh, you said you wanna do T bar? Yeah. We do that first. Alright, let's jump in. Are you close to your weight cap? No. Weight cap was. Do you know if any like the top five are close? To uh, you? Aaron weighed in at two. His weight cap is my weight cap, so two thirty-two. He went in at two two twenty something, two twenty-two. So he, he's more than good. Um, I'd say the only one that might be close might be like what Brandon or. Brandon's definitely close. Uh, Jeremy's very is very close. He was uh, two pounds. Edvon was the closest, but he somehow like bro, he was twenty-two pounds over. He competed. What? Uh, Ed Von Palmero. Oh. He placed fifth in, tw in 2022. Okay. He somehow dropped. 20 pounds. Bro, and he, and he won last week. He qualified. And I'm just like, I don't know how he did it. And he definitely streamlined the hell out of his physique. But shout out to him and his coach, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I couldn't believe that. Because I, I did the show with him. I'm standing right behind him. I see the scale. I'm like, bro, it's 5'9 and weighs five more pounds than me. And I'm 6'2. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, what the hell? How'd that make sense? We gotta show them how a men's physique athlete trains. There we go. Board shorts and all, baby. Let's have some fun, let's have some fun. Here we go. He's also a big reason why I wanna travel international, and compete international so much. This man. How many shows have you done in Nashville so far? I've just traveled a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Technically two. You did India? Two shows. I did India. Oh, oh I did Dubai. I was going to say you did Dubai. Count Canada. <laughs> yes or no? Well, regardless. Like, you know. So yeah, but I've traveled a lot. I mean, I've been to Korea, I've been to um, Hong Kong, Japan, all over Europe. You ever want to compete out there in Tokyo or? China? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to do, I, I tried to convince them to change. Um, when they have a classic show during the summer. I said, bro, you need to move it to after the Olympics. Yeah. I, I said I'd do it, but I don't think you will. Um, but I love to compete over there. Yeah. You know, my first show, I placed eighth, which was a mind fuck. But after that, I did or, um, Tampa. I got third, and then I got second, second, and then I got another third in Mexico. And truthfully, man, I was a shell of my physique. You know, I didn't, I didn't look like what got me to the Olympia the year before. You know, so I had to be real with myself and understand that, you know, because of the way that I dieted down and, you know, other factors, like, my body wasn't at its, at its best. So this year, man, like, the approach was much different. It's, it's more purposeful, I guess you could say. 
I think last year with the way the business was growing, I got married. It's a lot, dude. It was a lot, man, and I thought I could handle it. And That's what happened to me too, dude. Yeah. It's a lot, man. It, like, uh, 2022, and um, you don't realize how much that take has an effect on your recovery, yeah. ability to recover. And you tell yourself that it doesn't, or, or you're managing it well, and then you take your shirt off here and there, and it's yeah. like, hold on, something ain't adding up, man. Yeah, and, yeah I was know. working like 12 hours a day yeah. trying to get the business going. And and I, up and everything. Listen, man, like I, I witnessed your business grow, right? And it was crazy successful. Yeah. I modeled a lot of the decisions that I made off of the things that you guys were doing, right? So there's no question you guys had an impact. And who knows, man, that's probably a big reason why you're able to kind of focus more intently now than ever yeah. before, because you did what you had to do in 2022, you know, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. That one left a scar, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yes. I went from placing at the Olympia at my very first Olympia to not making it to the Olympia. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a shitty, it's, it's definitely shitty, but long term is better for Absolutely. Yeah. Right, I always say this, man. I pray to be the best in the world. I don't pray to win shows. So yeah. whatever uh, path God got to put me on to get there, I think this one was a necessary one. When it all goes down, I'm going to run this town. Fly in my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down. I can't die in this town. I won't die in this town. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Don't die one more, in one more. this town. God. One more. God. <sighs> Easy. Good work. Mm. Mm. Man, I got you. I got you. I got you. One more. Yep. Yep. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. That guy who you think who, who looks and screams men's physique. I don't know actually. Uh, I like a lot of physiques. I mean, I like I like Corey Morris's physique a lot. All right. He just, but um, I know they they down they they. Um, they say his arms are too big, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's, he gets knocked for being imbalanced yeah. because of how big his shoulders and arms are compared to everything else. Yeah. You know, I've always been a massive fan of his physique. Yeah. Like, dude is, I say, he looks like a cartoon character. It doesn't look real. His proportions don't look real, you know, but um, I think sometimes that even hurts him. I think so. You know what, it's crazy, man. I've noticed like, Having a small waist is obviously important, but like I feel like too, if it gets too small, it's yeah. like a downside. Yeah. It makes everything else around it look like disproportionate. Sure. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. But that's why I'm a massive fan of like Aaron's physique. You know what I mean? Yeah. Banks, yeah. dude has, I don't know, I think he screams men's physique in this the way that his proportions sit. He has he has some stronger mu uh, muscle groups like his, uh, his shoulders, but I always think like it's impossible to have too big of a back when it comes to like almost any division. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You'll be like Breon, man. Just keep going to you 50. <laughs> yeah, I got a damn, bro. Bro. He's insane, dude. I was like. <laughs> I just heard he's starting a coaching business in Tokyo. Dude, it's wild. Like, I see him like, him and his coach here trying to start one. That's. I don't know, man. I have clients in Tokyo that and they messaged me like, hey, you should do this. <laughs> I'm like, I have to use a translator app just to communicate with him. Oh, okay. okay. I can only imagine 10, 20 other people. I'm not sure how much thought you put into this. How much longer do you think you want to focus on bodybuilding? Because you've always been such an entrepreneur on the everything I would, else. Uh, I thought I'd be done now. <laughs> uh, you just waiting for Chris? <laughs> yeah, honestly, man. Like I would like I want to take to first be completely honest. I would love to take. I've heard rumors that Chris is going to do this one, and then I think you, next I think year. Oh, really? That's what I heard. I think he got I think he this, one this one left. One. I mean, it, me like. My idea, like if I was him, I would probably retire here just because I know when I have a kid, I don't want to be bodybuilding. No. But um, yeah, maybe I'll hit him up and ask. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to compete with him the last time he's there. But and ideally, I would take this year off and then hop into it the last year he's there next year. Um, you thinking about that? Yeah, yeah. I have 18 pounds I can, I can gain. Well, Damn. The, or if they pipe me shorter again, 12 pounds. But between 18 and 12 pounds is a shit ton of weight. Yeah, that's a fucking lot of weight. I don't, I'm not gonna gain all of that, but like, I think to put on like a good, like, seven, I would need that time off. Um, Damn, man. Yeah. So. Fourth place. 
Third place. Come on. Second place. First place. Good shit. You are so well spoken. You need to set up a camera yeah. and dissect the videos or, or the community of um, plastic, that's, bro. That's what I was thinking, man. Like, uh, it's, it's, especially if you take it, if you I'm end up taking like, this year no, off. My biggest problem with me is I always want to do too much at one time. Because um, I do, I would love to do, like, you know, Fuad and them, they do the stuff for bodybuilding yes. mostly. I would love to do something like that with classic. Thank you, bro. Like you that's know? what that's what I'm trying. That's what it's literally what I'm doing for men's physique right now. It's unique yeah. when it's like when you can almost tell a personal story about, hey, I was backstage with this. I, I yeah. know the way he focuses, or or whatever, right? The outpour has been insane, and sure. bro, at the end of the day, we're just trying to grow the division and the sport. Mm. Mm. What are we doing out there? How long? It's like a couple, couple hours a couple hours me no. No. See bro, uh-uh. My skin can last maybe 30, 45 minutes, and then I gotta get under an umbrella or I gotta hide away. Like I can't I can't do it, bro. Like, like I was I'm, I'm a, you got Phil Heap skin. <laughs> I, I, I can't get any darker. I like being tan as for a bodybuilder, like coming in the gym the next day with a little bit of uh, personality to my skin, but after that bro, <laughs> that's just like hurt. Like uh-uh. Uh, I've been sunburned one time, no, that long, years ago. It's always funny to me when they ask, like, white people ask, they're like, can you get sunburned? I'm like, motherfucker, I have skin. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, just a pink, man. What the hell? <laughs> Damn! All right. All right, man, that was me. Damn, that fucking lot feels it up. When it comes to prep, it's the small things. I'm getting to that point where I start forgetting <laughs> the small things. So one of Megan's favorite food trucks are here. So I want to try to get her something that one celebrates her cr absolutely crushing her diet for the past three months. Now that she's off of it, like she set a goal for three months and now she's off. So now we're going to go ruin it with some Mexican food. And it's I'm going to surprise my wife with something you guys like which uh this, everything right here yeah. thank you so much right, have, a good you. One. have a good one oh this shit looks so good bro. what yo so that was the food truck i was supposed to walk to but prep rain had me keep walking, but I, I think I accidentally made the right decision. Guys, look how good this is. Like, this is authentic. Like, this isn't no McDonald's. This isn't no Burger King. This is what you would find in the streets of New York. Man, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm getting to that point in prep where the later it gets in the afternoon, I feel like my brain function severely diminishes. So this is like my favorite part of the day where I get home and just turn it off and just completely relax for the rest of the night. And that's kind of where I'm looking forward to do right now. Oh. No There's way. no fucking way that I just did that. Did you just hit it? You gotta be kidding me. I'm not even looking until I get home. Even hit the fucking tire. Look at it, it's just like all just coming. Oh my god. It's it's not dented, it's just fucking scratched. Bro, I I I'm so fucking pissed right now. My tires Ah! I feel so defeated right now. Like, <laughs> this is a bad day to be on low carbs. I'm binging my show upstairs. Upstairs, are you watching? Yeah. 
you know, Tyler Cameron. I got you something I couldn't have. From a food truck? Yeah, I drove by today. They're there every Friday. I, I was fed today. I didn't go. I, I usually sneak there. Oh, uh, well, I snuck there for you. I got you something that I wanted. Sorry. What is it? Do they have like a smash burger? It was from uh, like a New York style. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted it. So. Yum. That's actually fire. Right? You could, you know it smells good. Or it tastes good when it smells that It doesn't good. taste like a burger. I don't know. I don't know how smash burgers are cooked. Like, is it burger meat or is it like. No, that's burger meat. It's really flavorful. It's good. So good. Oh my god. Bro, that's <laughs> scary. Like, this is my guilty pre pleasure on prep right now. <gasps> like, this smells so good. So you get I have a question for you. Yeah. And this is gonna like determine whether or not you're able to stay here. <laughs> oh God. What the fuck? Where's your syrup located? My syrup? We've already talked about this. Where's yeah, Johnny was in my the syrup? Before. Yeah, my syrup is in my fridge, but okay, I know but, you don't keep yours. But, what? I know you don't. I know. Every all your syrup is out. But look, syrup, syrup. But look what Johnny did. Johnny keeps ketchup in the <laughs> open ketchup. He keeps in the pantry. It's already kind of like no, no. If you don't put your syrup. <laughs> in the pantry, whether open or not, like it, it doesn't make sense. Like to me, like that is such a Caucasian thing to do that it's insane. Like think about it: when you go to a a restaurant, your syrup is what Hot, on the table. I guess it's lukewarm. Yeah. It's not cold because it doesn't right. make sense. It doesn't make any sense to have your syrup cold when you're trying to eat warm pancakes. It doesn't make sense.